After a disappointing spring season where most things got canceled, it feels good to just be back on track with our regularly scheduled anime season. So in preparing for this video, I wanted to gather all the best anime for you guys to check out. But unfortunately, this is how it went. Okay, let's pull up this anime list and check out what we've got. Wait a second. There's only there's only 16 anime. There's only there's there's nothing that this is it. There's only one, two, three, four that I'm interested in, and two of these are sequels. What the hell am I supposed to recommend? Okay, I'm not gonna lie to you, there's not a lot of exciting new titles this season, so I made it a point to check out a few other things, even though I really didn't want to, and I actually believe there's enough to get us by. Yeah, us, because I also like good anime too, you know. So here are my honest thoughts on what I'm liking so far this season. It's very rare to see a show that has action so embedded into its DNA. From its premise just being one giant tournament, its focus on telling us every fighter's name as well as their fighting style, and having a main character that's essentially a fusion between Goku and Luffy, it's clearly all about the fighting. Also, when a show introduces nanotechnology that can keep its characters alive and heal their wounds no matter what, that's basically spelling out where its priorities are. I actually went through a fair amount of the webtoon beforehand to compare with the adaptation, and so far, the anime has done a good job of streamlining the first few chapters to make the premise more straightforward. And no, the Tumblr noses are actually anime only, which I don't have as much of a problem with as these earlobes. One of the best parts of the series is how it showcases so many different martial arts styles and actually takes the time to explain them on a technical level without ever slowing down the fight. At the same time, the series has a bit of silliness to it that keeps it from ever taking itself too seriously. Now, it's really light in the plot department, but that makes it perfect for being the action anime of the season, and also great to watch while eating lunch. So, what happens when you take the irregular at Magic High School and give it a demonic makeover? You get the misfit at Demon King Academy. Except that the main character in this one was given an actual personality with a little bit of quirkiness and charm thrown in, for good measure. I'm actually very surprised that I'm watching this because this anime is a straight up power fantasy that even comes equipped with the expected waifu entourage, but for some reason I find it fun. I think it comes down to the main character, who's supposed to be this true demon king that's been reincarnated and his people don't even remember him, which gives the show a bit more direction and intrigue rather than ending up feeling repetitive since he can kinda just one shot everything and chuck castles at people. It's also another one that doesn't take itself too seriously. The main character could immediately speak after being born, basically told his parents, I'm back bitches, and grew up in the span of one month. And the best part is just watching him go about being so amused by everything. He's the comedic center of the show. So yeah, this is my guilty pleasure of the season. What? I can be basic sometimes. I did not expect to have this one on my list because I had ruled it out at episode one. It just wasn't really interesting for me at all. And it's terrible looking CG was like, nope. The only character I found to be likable was the main character, but she just wasn't interesting enough for me to keep going with it. And then by chance, I watched episode 2, and the way I see it, if you did like episode 1 and what it was setting up with, you know, humans kind of having to fight for themselves and fend off against these monsters, which kind of seems like Attack on Titan, then episode 2 might be where you check out. But for me, episode 2 was like finding water in a desert, and then that water turned out to be alien water. Basically, everything shown to you in episode 1 was just set up for the real premise of the show introduced in episode 2, which can feel pretty jarring and weird at first, but what I found fascinating is being able to see the humans from a perspective that isn't their own. But I still find this to be a bit of a toss-up, so I'm gonna have to call this the wild card of the season. And the season wouldn't be complete without the horny anime. Literally, in this case, this guy is really horny. But the draw of this show isn't the main character, because he's somewhat unlikable, and from the looks of it, it doesn't look like he's going to change. It's the women. From the hilarious grandma, to the beautiful love interests, and that cute art style, along with this adorable OP. God. I already know who Best Girl is, and that's the only reason I'm watching. That's it. I don't have anything else to say here. I'm not ashamed. So now, let's talk about the sequels. With so little to watch, this is actually a great incentive to catch up to the sequel anime because they're really worth the watch. They're both very centered on the development of its main character. 
In both shows, the main character doesn't possess a healthy view of himself, but is thrust into a situation that eventually makes them acknowledge and deal with their own shortcomings. The first one of these is Oregairu, or My Teen Romantic Comedy Snafu. It's actually been five years since I last watched this, so I honestly didn't remember a single thing. But after watching the first episode, I was reminded of why I love this series so much. Of the two sequels, this is the slower one, because it focuses more on the interactions between its characters within their daily teenage high school lives. Because it centers around a snarky main character that's a loner and doesn't know how to communicate well with other people, it's less about what is actually said and more about what's left unsaid. It's very subtle, and that's the whole point. It's all about picking up on the small details and learning to read between the lines in order to avoid misunderstanding other people. It's relatable, realistic, and has the most genuine outlook on the teenage condition. And if you're still hesitant, a bonus incentive for watching the show is that it's its last season, given that the light novels are already finished, so we'll be getting a definitive ending. Now's a good time to watch the first two seasons and jump on board, so we can see which of these ships will sail after five long years. And now for the more fantasy-oriented sequel, ReZero. Okay, it's an isekai. The premise of ReZero is literally, how much can we make Subaru suffer until he learns? But what I love about ReZero is its illustration of consequences from two perspectives. Consequences of a person's actions and consequences on a person's psyche for having to deal with repetitive failures. And finding out the hard way that they're not the right person for the job. And even then, having no choice but to find a way to get the job done. It's that desperation and madness that's so interesting to watch. Painful, of course, but if you've ever seen even a small part of yourself in the main character Subaru, then it can be a pretty eye-opening and humanizing experience. Other than that, the soundtrack is dope, it has some of the best female characters in the game, and plenty of mystery surrounding the world that keeps you wondering what's actually at play at all times. So if you have about nine hours to spare, just check out the first season, and then watch my video on it, of course. Thanks. So, not every season has to have a masterpiece or industry-saving anime. Sometimes we just want to kick back and have a little junk food. And you might as well just give these a shot, because there's nothing else. There, there's nothing else. Unless you were in the middle of starting your plan to watch list collecting dust over there. Because we know that wasn't going to happen since you're watching this video. Alright guys, in all seriousness, how'd I do? Did I miss something? Do you feel like I nailed it? Let me know in the comments below. If you did like the video, please give it a like, or even a dislike, whatever you want. Just let me know how you feel. If you want to stay tuned for more upcoming videos, subscribe, ring the bell, yada yada. I just don't want you to miss out. If you want to join my small tight-knit community, I also have a Discord. Link is in the description below. Besides all of that, I'm Onimaru, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace.